in this video, which is going to be a quick demonstration, I'm going to connect this, which is a Texan AN5 reel out wire. It's about five meters of wire in this little enclosure. I've got a couple of these uh, little portable reel out antennas. This one is slightly different because instead of a 3.5 mil plug for an external antenna socket, it's got a little clip. And that little clip is designed to plug into the, or not to plug in, but to clip onto the telescopic antenna of any radio that doesn't have um, an external antenna socket. In this case, I'm going to be trying the um, Texan DR920C with this reel out wire to see how it improves reception or whether it overloads the radio. Radio isn't designed to have an external antenna. And we know that because there's no antenna socket on the radio. And just for the sake of comparison, I'm also going to be using my uh, Texan PL330 here. Now the PL330, as you probably know, has an external antenna socket. There it is. But for the sake of fairness, again, I'm just going to be clipping this AN5 to the um, telescopic antenna of the PL330. We'll see how they perform, like I say. This thing is just five meters or so of wire. I'm going to reel it out across the garden. It's going to be hardly any height above ground. Just thrown out there. I'm sure it'll pull in a little bit more than the telescopic on the radio. And we'll see how they both perform. Now you should have seen from that comparison that um, it certainly looked like this radio pulled in a lot more signals. I only looked at the 49 meter band. Um, it was around 1830 UTC when I did this test. <clears throat> 
And, um, well, this radio sounded a lot more lively. But it was certainly hearing signals where there weren't any signals. Uh, at the top end of the 40 meter band, it even looked like it was pulling in some SSB signals. Probably overload from uh, maybe the 40 meter ammeter band. The band sounded quite different on the PL330, I'm sure you'll agree. Now the difference is, this little DR920C is a single conversion radio. So it's going to be prone to image interference. It's likely to be more prone to overloading. But I was surprised just how much the short length of wire from this uh, Texan uh, reload antenna, just how much it caused in the way of overload problems. So the moral of the story is this radio is certainly not suitable for use with an external antenna. It's reasonable with its own antenna, with its own telescopic. It overloads very easily with any kind of external antenna. And that's probably one good reason why there's no external antenna socket on this radio. I'll try it at a later date on some of the other bands. It could be that it'll be a little bit better on the higher bands with the reel out wire. But for the time being, I think we can safely say that if you're going to use any form of external antenna, then something like the uh, PL330 here, although it's somewhat more expensive than the 920C, is going to be a much better bet, quite apart from the fact this radio also has um, an SSB facility. But for AM listening, this is going to overload with an external antenna. I don't know whether you agree with me, but one observation I do have of this is that the stations that this did pick up sounded to me, the audio recovered from them, sounded to me to be better on this 9, uh, 920C. Just seemed clearer and more rounded. Now, whether that's the... DSP technology in the 330, I don't know. But I did prefer the audio from the 920C. But unfortunately, um, the 330, it was able to tune the band much, much better and didn't suffer from the overload problems that this radio does. So I hope you found that interesting. Um, I'll try it at a later date, as I say, on some of the other bands. But I really think this antenna this radio is best used on its own telescopic antenna and nothing else thank you for watching